Hello, this is Elena with MedLab Diagnostics doing a quick video on how to use your 16-in-1 reagent test strips for drinking water. Now these strips can be used to test any kind of water. You can test your pool water, your, your spa, your hot tub, uh, well water, ground water, drinking water, any type of water where you want to check to see if there are any contaminants. So that's what these are for. Um, when you take the strip out, you can see it's on a biodegradable clear strip which is cool and you can see all 16 parameters are here on the strip and um, it does when you first take it out some of them will be colored and this is normal the parameters that we are testing for in these strips are lead fluoride iron copper mercury total chlorine nitrite nitrate ph total alkalinity total hardness aluminum sulfate bromine free chlorine and cyanuric acid so we're going to go ahead and test this now. We have some test water here. So you just dip your strip in the test water and make sure that you get all of your pads um, wet. And then you just take out any excess liquid with the side of the cup. You can tap it on your paper towel and then just lay it flat. And you let the color develop for about 60 seconds and uh, then you read your results and you compare it to the color chart that's on the bottle. So just for the sake of time, we're gonna start comparing it now, but when you do this at home, you should wait the 60 seconds before you start to compare. And one thing to note about this color chart, when you go to look at it, if you'll notice underneath each of the results, you'll see a little line, it's green, some of them are red. So what that corresponds to is that we've built in the EPA recommended limits into this chart. So if you get a color that's within this green range, and that means you're okay. If you get a color that's within this orange range with the two exclamation marks. So you'll see that on like here, here's one. And on some of these, you may you may see that orange range. That means that it's getting close to the EPA max limits. And then of course, if you see something that is red, then that means that you've gone beyond the EPA max limits and that that's not good. So just keep that in mind when you're reading your results that you have the EPA max limits built into here. So we're gonna go ahead and start reading our results. So we're gonna go down, down the strip, starting with the first one. So the first one is lead. So we're gonna go across and see. And this one, we got a positive result. So it's all, all the way over here on the 50. Let me see if I can get this. There you go. Over here on the 50. So that's a positive result for lead. And then the next one down is fluoride. Looks like it's about a, at a 0.5. The next one is iron. That's negative. Copper looks like it's negative. Mercury looks negative. Total chlorine looks negative. Nitrite looks negative. Nitrate looks negative. And we're down here on pH now. So we're going to go across. Looks like the pH is about a 9 on this. The next one down is total alkalinity. I'm going across here to see what the best match is. And it looks like we're like at 240, which is in the red range, as you can see here. And then the next one down is hardness. Hardness looks to be... I'm going to go with about a 25. Aluminum is negative. It's the closest match is negative. Sulfide. I'm sorry, sulfate. Go across, it looks like it's high, it's 1600 there. And then bromine is negative, free chlorine is negative, and then the cyanuric acid looks like it's 30 to 50. Yep, it's a 30 to 50. So that's basically how do you read your strip.
Um, you just dip it in your solution, wait 60 seconds, and then you compare it to the color chart that's on your, your bottle. And you kind of just go all the way across looking for the color that matches your pad the best. And then that's your result. And you have your EPA limits, max limits built into the chart. So you can see if your water quality is good or if it needs improvement. And also, uh, we have a full color chart, a full printable color chart that we can email to you if you'd like. And you just email us and we can send you the, the printable color chart. It looks just like this, except it's a bigger version of it and it's printable so that you can post it or use it any way you like. All right. So if you have any other questions about how to read your strips, feel free to email us at info at medlabdiagnostics.org. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video.